Hello everyone, Michael here, part-time gamer, full-time dad, with part 2 of the 1000 sub giveaway Q&A. If you don't know what's going on, check the link in the description for part 1. So first up today we've got Prabat Kumar who asked if I had any plans for videos about newer games. Well Prabat, I would absolutely love to do that. Unfortunately, I don't have a ton of time and games are extremely expensive. So I'm relatively selective about what new games I do get. However, in 2018 I am looking to branch out so maybe keep an eye out for that. Second up, we have a WoW related question from Ollie Thompson who asks what my favorite race and class combo is why. Well Ollie, I do have to say that Undead Warlocks from a lore perspective, but from a neat aesthetic, I'd have to say Goblin Shamans. I'm not sure why, it just I think it's the totems to be honest. That and they're super rare. Third up, we have another WoW question from JustPay who asked why play WoW in 2017? Well JustPay, I can't tell anyone what to do, but I play WoW primarily for the guild engagement. I'm never playing alone, so for me it's a lot more fun than just grinding. I have to admit though, once we're through the current raid tier, uh, things will most likely slow down for our guild up until Battle for Azeroth, so I'll probably be playing more of other games. Fourth up, we have Trox who wants to know who my favorite Overwatch character is. Well Trox, I personally enjoy Junkrat the most, however Tracer and Roadhog are not far behind. Next up at number 5 we have Cropping YT who asks, do you think that starting a new channel on YouTube in 2017 will get someone famous? Or was starting in 2006 the only way to get famous? Well, this is a heavy question. Uh, for me personally, I'm not looking to get famous. I started this channel with the intention of doing a podcast and then it sort of morphed into a wow channel about helping people who don't have a lot of time, much like myself. YouTube currently seems to be all about trends for the bigger channels, which is because the YouTube viewer base is generally a younger audience. So all you need to do if you're really looking to get famous is find that formula, apply it to your channel, and you're pretty much in it. Although I don't count that as real fame, that's like copied fame. At number 6 is Golden Mario asking, do you think of playing PUBG? I assume this is, do you play PUBG? And I do play PUBG, just not a ton. I wanted to put some of those videos up on my channel, and actually did a while back, but YouTube doesn't deal in montages anymore because it's too graphic for advertisers. However, I was thinking about making a secondary unmonetized channel or just eating the demonetization and putting up some more PUBG videos. Let me know if that's something you guys would like to see. Number seven, we have Hello Friend TV who asked, any plans on making more TLDR guides? To which I would obviously say, yes. I'm trying to get the eye levels up on some of my alts so that you don't have to watch old raids or five man content while I talk. Moving on to number eight, we got my boy Crash Coke with a very good question. What is your favorite platform for content consumption? Personally, I enjoy both YouTube and Twitch relatively equally. I've got my main followers on Twitch that I go out of my way to watch, and the same for YouTube. YouTube for me is more informational, so I can pause it, I can rewind it, I can see what's going on, whereas Twitch is more of a live entertainment. I hope that is a good enough answer. Also, be sure to check out Crash's Twitch, he's a very fun streamer to watch. Link in the description. So, at number 9, it's, and I'm going to butcher this because I don't really get it, Kai Verum Ventenor with a long one where he asked if you could design a new WoW class what would it be including multiple spec? Well, Ven, which is what I'm going to call you because I can't pronounce the rest. I've actually thought about this a lot in the past. If I was to design a new class from the ground up in its simplest form, it would be like a demon hunter with only two specs, both of which would be healing specs, one melee and one ranged. The melee would drain health from the boss through their abilities to only heal melee classified players and the ranged healer would do the same. Kind of like a warlock with drains but it AoE heals the range group. I feel like that's something I could probably make an entire video about. Keep an eye out for that. At number 10 we have Victor Schmidt who asks what studies I did are doing or will do. Well Victor to be honest I never went to school beyond high school. My work has paid for me to get some certificates but those only pertain to the job that I currently do so they're not super helpful. I do however have a lynda.com subscription that I do utilize. I enjoy learning but I've never had the funds to do it. By the way, that was not an ad spot. For number 11, it's xjetter1230x with do you believe in the moon landing? Um, yes? Uh, for number 12, we've got a super loaded question from Mighty Evilosurin, basically asking how I feel about microtransactions. The long and short of my response is that governments have finally caught wind of this and I honestly don't believe that loot boxes or very similar systems will be around too much longer. To me it doesn't mean a whole lot as I don't tend to ever buy loot boxes, I've maybe spent $20 in all the games I've played in total on loot boxes, 
but I've personally never had issues with them for strictly cosmetic items, um, especially if it's something you earn through playing. If you have to pay for it, that's a whole other bag of chips. And at unlucky13, we have the gaming dinosaur with a nice lighthearted question, and that's what's your favorite dino? I'd say it's a 50-50 between the Triceratops and the Pterodactyl. On the one hand you have flying, and on the other hand you have some serious impaling action with those horns. At 14, it's Ashbjorn Backard. I'm not sure what that says, but he asked what country I'm in. Well, that's easy. I'm in Canada. At 15, it's Abdo Adel with what's your favorite platform? Well, that's pretty simple. Also, it's PC. I can't aim for crap on a controller, and there are far more games on PC. I won't lie though, Rocket League and Final Fantasy are definitely PS4 games that I play. At 16, we have Valkul14 asking about how the winner will be chosen. Well, as questions came in, I added names to a spreadsheet with a random number, and I will or will have drawn a random number by now. Bam, there's your winner. 17 is Victor Schmidt with a pretty deep one. If you had to change something about your life, what would it be? I'm not sure what I would change if I absolutely had to, but what I would change if I had a choice would probably be my job. At 18, we have Henrik H asking what I thought about his first PC build. Well, I answered his question in a comment, so I won't go into detail here. For 19, it's That Kangaroo asking what my favorite type of pizza is. Double pepperoni or barbecue chicken. Would never say no to either. At 20, GD Studios asks who's my favorite YouTuber is. Well, this for me is kind of a three-way tie. I follow a channel called Gopher because he really pulls me into his made-up storylines in RPG games. I like Science Studios as a tech tuber, also Linus Tech Tips, and I like ETC for their funny take on news and culture. Uh, I will actually link to all those channels down below, free plugs. For 21 and 22, we have two questions from Krabby. Don't worry, they only got one entry. First up, it's how long have you been married, which is six years, almost seven. And the second question is, what is your favorite horror movie? Well, this one was insanely tough to decide on, but I narrowed it down to two. The original Nightmare on Elm Street and Cabin in the Woods. Now I know Cabin in the Woods is more of a comedy sci-fi horror mashup, but it's just so good. At 23, it's Jorben asking what add-ons I use in WoW. Well, I made a video about this. It hasn't changed much since then, so link in the description. For 24, we have Minat asking why I started recording. I think I already answered something very similar to this, but essentially I was bored one day and decided to start a podcast with my buddy, which flopped and evolved into short WoW guides because I could never find them. 25th is Alexander Avromovic, who asked if I would dress up like a woman for 1 million subs. Well, if it's at 1 million subs, maybe, but I haven't shown myself yet, so how would you know? But if it's to gain 1 million subs, I don't know. Odds are those would probably be empty subs who wouldn't actually watch. I would rather a thousand active watchers than one million bum accounts. 26 is Dex Show asking why I am the best YouTuber. Well, Dex, I never said I was, and really, I don't think I am. All I can say is that I am a YouTuber, and if someone happens to think I'm the best, well, I appreciate that wholeheartedly. And the last question of this video and of the contest is Joshua Clarence, who asks what time it is. Well, it's go time, Clarence. But in reality, it's 1121 where I am currently. Eh, little early afternoon recording. Anyways, thanks for sticking out until the end of this slightly exhausting Q&A. And a bit of a surprise, I have three copies of Dino D-Day that I'm going to be picking random winners for that also submitted questions. So keep an eye out for your alerts to see if you are one of the winners. This one was longer because I didn't want to do a third. I wanted to get back to the WoW videos. If you ever have any other questions and you're just genuinely curious, fire them at me and I will be happy to answer. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.